Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today I thought we would practice some periodic trend examples. So I'm going to call this your turn. So we're going to start off by reminding ourselves that as we go from left to right across a row or period, ionization energy, electronegativity, and electron affinity increase, and radius and metallic character decrease. And as we go from top to bottom, ionization energy, electronegativity, and electron affinity decrease, and atomic radius and metallic character increase. And so you'll notice that the most non-metallic or least metallic element would be fluorine, and the most metallic element would be francium. So, atomic radius. Put these elements in order of decreasing atomic radius. So carbon, nitrogen, lithium, fluorine, and oxygen are all in the same period of the periodic table. What is the trend? The trend is that radius decreases from left to right across a period. So the answer would be lithium, which is the farthest to the left, would be the largest. And then we'll move along to fluorine, which is the most to the left excuse me, to the right, and that would be the smallest. So left end of the periodic table, largest, right end of a row, smallest. So again, reminding ourselves what our trends are. And now ionization energy. So if we go back one, ionization energy increases from left to right across a row and decreases from top to bottom down a group. So put these elements in order of decreasing ionization energy. Again, carbon, nitrogen, lithium, fluorine, and oxygen, they're all in the same row or period. What is the trend? As you move across from left to right, it increases, and we're asked for decreasing. So that means that the one that's the farthest to the right would have the highest ionization energy, which would be fluorine. And then as we move across to lithium that's on the left, that would be the lowest ionization energy. Now here are our trends again and this time we're asked to look at electron affinity. So let's go back. Electron affinity is increasing from left to right and decreasing from top to bottom. So put these elements in order of increasing electron affinity, carbon, nitrogen, lithium, fluorine, and oxygen. Again they're all in the same period. What is the trend? From left to right it increases and we're asked to put it in order of increasing. So that means that we're going to start at the left and move across to the right. So increasing electron affinity would be lithium to carbon to nitrogen to oxygen, fluorine being the greatest. The number is becoming more negative as we move from left to right across a period. So here's the trends again and here are the radii. And so now we're being asked to uh, rank elements in order of decreasing atomic radius. So let's go back here and look. So what we're seeing here is that for positive ions, the radius in red is always smaller than the neutral atom. But you'll notice that from top to bottom, it is increasing. So now put these elements in order of decreasing ionic radius. So these are all plus one. So these are all group one metals forming positive ions. So we know that the trend is the radius will increase from top to bottom. So if we want to decrease, we're going to start with rubidium, which would be at the bottom. That would be the largest, then potassium, then sodium, and then lithium. So now electronegativity, so let's go and look. Electronegativity increases from left to right across a period and decreases from top to bottom within a group. Put these elements in order of increasing electronegativity. So these are all in the same period. Remember that the highest electronegativity on the periodic table is fluorine. So if it's increasing, you know that fluorine has to be the last one. So what is the trend? It's going to increase from left to right across. So 
Lithium, which is on the left, is going to have the least, and fluorine, which is on the right, which is, is going to have the greatest electronegativity. So the way you do these is you ask yourself what the trend is, and then you rank them according to that trend. And so again, here are our trends. And last one we're going to do is metallic character. So again, metallic character, if you think about it, the metals are here, the non-metals are here, so metallic character is going to decrease across. And metallic character is going to increase from top to bottom. So remember, most metallic element is in the lower left. Least metallic is in the upper right. So put these elements in order of decreasing metallic character. Same group. So what is the trend? Across a period, metallic character is going to be decreasing as you go from left to right. So lithium would be the most metallic. And then decreasing across, fluorine would be our least metallic. So that is it for practice. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.